Hello and welcome to my channel. I hope you're having a pleasant day. Today I'm unboxing the Event Horizon 4K Steelbook, which uh, not exactly who exclusively it is for. Um, Amazon, Zavi, whatever. I mean, I got this from Zavi because uh, I actually stayed up to um, wait for the collector's edition to get it with discount and um, went out of stock. So I missed that. I mean, you can get it now anywhere. But um, then I settled for this. Uh, that went out of stock a day later, so um, I don't think anyone got a copy. I um, mean, you can get this on eBay now for pretty much nothing, but um, a bit annoying for some. Um, love this film. Uh, been a while since I've seen it, because uh, I watched the 4K recently. And I was actually presently surprised, because I um, had the uh, German still book, which is uh, oh, not going to focus. Uh, quite pleasant. I mean, there's nothing inside. You got like a, oh, got a poster and all of that. But um, uh, yeah, love this film. Uh, had a lot of problems apparently in production because uh, I think so. Anderson's given some like a hundred days to um, film, edit, do everything. He uh, showed it to an audience, you know, like a first viewing, you know, test audience, and the um, they didn't like it. Apparently, people threw up. Um, vomit it, you know, uh, walked out, which, uh, to be honest, that sounds absolutely awesome. But um, they didn't like it, so um, they made them trim it down. <clears throat> and then after that, they um, still weren't happy. So um, <clears throat> you can't win, I guess, with Hollywood. But uh, anyway, um, we have a look at, we'll take the J-Cod off, and then we'll have a look at the um, still bit with the slit cover. So uh, there's your J-Cod there. You got um uh I can't talk W uh, Vision of W Atmos um four four K when obviously it's a four K Infinite Space Infinite Terror um you got your bonus features I don't think there's um much difference between this and the uh, normal Blu-ray you got um previously but um I did actually watch it's actually quite cool I mean Screen Factory did a um. Blu-ray release where they tried to um, remaster the um, lost footage because for some reason they stored it in a Transylvanian um, salt mine. You know, rather than you know store it in their own property, they um, stored it there, and uh, it's damaged on repair. So we're never going to get a, a director's cut, unfortunately. It's a bit of a shame, but uh, anyway, here's your. Um, and Horizon, you got hands. Uh, everyone's a little bit sceptical of this uh, design because um, it doesn't exactly scream cosmic horror, does it? Uh, it's all clawing at an eye, and the eye is the picture of the uh, black hole. Uh, it's a ship, the Event Horizon, coming out of an eye, which is cool as hell. So we'll take the slit cover off. I mean, not really much on there. Um, we have a look at the uh, inside, and then we take the uh, disc out and have a look. So the uh, discs are different. It's interesting. Uh, I can't seem to get the uh, Blu-ray out. Um, ooh, there's your 4K. You got Adobe Atmos, uh, Adobe Vision. Yep. Sort of looking outside the glass there. Um, there's your Blu-ray, which is the uh, body sort of floating when they arrive. I give too much away about that, but that's the uh, picture. Uh, is it J is it Jason? I can't remember. Um, sort of observing the black hole, make a thing before it opens. And on the back, you got the uh, eyes, which actually looks a little bit comical. <laughs> This is so close together. Um, it's a picture of the uh, the uh, black hole. Um, it's out at Sam Neil. Sam Neil's character. I'm not going to say much about that because that would be a massive spoiler. You got the um, uh, title on the spine in case you didn't know what it was called. And uh, yeah, I think it's a very nice uh, design. I mean, given what it is, um, uh, that's actually freaking me a little bit out. I think I'll turn it that way because that looks even better, doesn't it? But uh, yeah, 
Um, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope to see you again. Goodbye.